Welcome to Australia's renewable pine forests. Only 1% of Australia's forest area, but growing over 50% of all logs harvested. Let's go on a journey from seed to harvest and meet some of the people working to ensure Australia's sustainable forest future. We step inside the nursery production shed where the journey starts. Seeds are collected from parent pine cones and are sewn into growing trays on the sewing line. Seed trays are brought into the covered growing area for around six weeks to allow them to germinate. These tens of thousands of seedlings you're looking at now are five months old and are showing good growth. Over a thousand pine seedlings are being planted here today. Each one is placed into the soil by hand. These new seedlings will need extra help through the control of competing weeds and other competition to ensure their best start. The seedlings have grown and now over a year old. At this stage of the plantation life cycle, we're really keen to give these trees the best start they can get. And that means controlling the weeds and all the other competition around them. So what we're looking at here is some four year old pine plantation. This is a really important stage in the life cycle. This is the, the time that we get what we call canopy closure. And what that means when you look out the side, that the tips of the branches are nearly touching. This means that they're sort of squashing out all the weeds and everything else underneath and start putting on vertical growth and getting much, much taller. Hello, my name is Clinton. I'm a forester. I'm with Green Triangle Forest Products and today I'm doing some foliar sampling to check for nutrient deficiencies. To take the sample, I've got a map that's taken me out to this location here, and I've selected a tree that's uh, pretty average for this lot. It's not uh, small, it's not looking really unhealthy. In fact, all these trees are very healthy, and I select a, a little branch, which is called a second order one, which is not the growing tip, so it should have the average amount of nutrients. We've got one from the other side, the second one goes in the bag and we secure it there. I write the details of the location on this um, bag. They get recorded on my spreadsheet. These then get sent to the laboratory to be tested for the nutrients in them. We're looking at uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and particularly for this region, uh, copper and zinc, but it's to identify when that data comes back to us if there's anything that's marginal deficient, so there's a lack of a nutrient. And we can make a decision of whether we need to help these trees by uh, spraying that nutrient on them and allow them to grow better and have great form and continue being a productive forest. So this plantation is nearly 10 years of age. You can see that the trees have really started to grow well. It's also about the same time that we do uh, some of our inventory uh, where we measure the trees just to see how they're going and what sort of products we might get out of those thinning operations. G'day, I'm Lucas. I work for 141, growing great forests in the uh, South Australian region. And I work for, I, I work as a resource analyst and part of my job is understanding how much timber is in the forest so that we can provide enough timber for a sustainable yield for all the local mills. So we typically do that two methods. Uh, the first method is a bit old fashioned, but we go out there with a tape measure and a vertex and go throughout the forest and measure lots of plots. There's examples of plots up on the map and as you can imagine, it's quite an arduous job. The other method we use is lighter. Now lighter is laser shot from a pine. And using a bit of mass, we can work out how tall the forests are um, from the time it takes for the laser to come back to the pine. And basically we can set up the computer program to automate what we do manually out in the field making plots and measuring the trees to automate it and give us a sustainable yield. 
you can now see a harvester doing what we call a thinning operation. Basically, as the trees get more crowded and compete with one another, we start to take out some of the smaller and poorly formed trees, improving the overall health of the remaining trees. This 15-year-old forest has recently undergone its first thinning and the light-hungry trees are thriving. At 20 years, you might notice the lower branches have all browned off as the trees start to naturally self-prune. Welcome aboard, my name's Marcus. Um, I'm gonna take you on a tour in our second thinnings job in a single grip harvester. The harvester has delimbing knives on it automatically, so we don't have to delimb the tree. It does it automatically when we feed the tree through the harvester head. So at the moment, the computer is optimizing the butt length of the tree length and the diameter and picking the right length to cut it into. We mainly uh, predominantly cut export on this job and we also cut preservation which is the last piece I just cut, the post, which are little, little posts you use for vineyards and um, farmers. This 25-year-old plantation now contains the straightest trees, with the best branching following several thinnings. At 30 years of age, the forest is much more open, like a parkland feel. Trees are around 30 to 35 metres tall. Trav here is driving his harvester out on a clear fall operation to harvest this pine forest plantation, which is now 30 years old. Like in thinning, the harvester head scans the tree and calculates the best cuts to make automatically. The harvester then stacks each log product into different piles for the forwarder to collect. Bailey is a trainee and working on this forwarder to collect around six products in the harvested strip and takes them to the log landing. At the landing, the forwarder is stacking the logs into piles, ready for the loader. The loader lifts the logs onto haulage trucks, on their way to the local mills. This chopper roller tows heavy rolls behind the bulldozer. They chop and crush up the leftover stumps and branches from the recent harvest event at an old plantation site and makes it easier for the mounder to mound the soil up into rows ready for planting, just like a farm. The planting of these brand new pine seedlings restarts the cycle of Australia's pine plantations. That cycle is the reason why we can say wood really is the ultimate renewable and a step towards Australia's sustainable future.